President Trump praised the FBI for quickly tracking down the suspect, saying political violence must never be allowed in America. But a deep dive into the suspect's past shows politics apparently was his motive. Yeah, we just took him into custody. Tonight, 56-year-old Cesar Sayoc is in custody, a suspected bomber arrested near an AutoZone store in Plantation, Florida. We can confirm that 13 IEDs were sent to various individuals across the country. These are not hoax devices. Sources say investigators used his cell phone to track him after DNA evidence was found on some of the packages. In addition, they uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. One of the reasons authorities arrested him in a public place was because an address associated with him in Florida might pose a danger to officers if there were explosives present. Officials say he was living with his parents, but they had kicked him out. He was living out of this van, which authorities took into custody after he was arrested. The van was covered in political decals, images of the president and vice president, and one criticizing CNN. A frequent chant at the president's rallies. Sayoc attended one of those rallies in Melbourne, Florida last year and held a sign with the same message. His Twitter account included memes attacking billionaire investor George Soros, one of the targets of the alleged bombings. Online records show that Sayoc has an extensive arrest record across two states, including grand theft, battery, fraud, drug possession, and one in Miami in 2002. According to a police report, he threatened to blow up a Florida utility company worse than September 11th. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to a year of probation. He now faces five federal charges and up to 48 years in prison. But the threat might not be over. Today's arrest doesn't mean we're all out of the woods. There may be other packages in transit now. Now, Sayonk is spending the night and the next few days at a federal detention facility in Miramar, Florida. He's expected to go before a judge there on Monday. According to the New York Times, Sayonk will be prosecuted in New York, where most of the bombs turned up.